Well, hello again from Coach Peter. So, marketing is a toolkit deployed to create and build a brand. A brand is essentially a name, a label bestowed on a particular product. We might say to make a particular product stand out in its category and differentiate itself from competitors. A product may be the tangible substance of a product, the intangible service it delivers, or both. So the tangible product of a brand of shampoo, its substance, is its gel, its liquid, its color, perfume, consistency. But an inseparable part of the shampoo's product is the service it delivers, clean, shining, good-looking hair. A personality can very easily be a brand. Katy Perry's particular product mix, her particular style of music, her appearance, her fashion, all make her brand stand out from its competitors in the music market. They differentiate her brand. Head and Shoulders product delivers an extra service or benefit. It fixes dandruff. So the brand H&S stands out from its competitors as the dandruff fixer. The product differentiates brand Head and Shoulders. Whether a brand identifies a person or an abstract or a political party, the brand's value lies in the benefits it delivers to those who experience its particular product, substance, service or both. A brand is a name a label, but it is also a vessel, a container, a reservoir, in which the value created is stored to the benefit of its stakeholders, and always for the brand's owner. A brand can store a lot of value for its owners, many millions of dollars, many millions of votes for a political party, many millions of happy customers. More of this later in our master course. Time to talk about this word value. The first and most important thing to understand about value is that value must always be seen in context. Value is always relative, never absolute. An object or a brand has no value in itself out of context of one who values it. A painting, a gold bar, an iPhone, a Big Mac have no value unless someone perceives them as valuable. Is a Picasso more valuable than a painting by my sister-in-law? Yes, she does paint pretty well, too. Is an iPhone more valuable than a Galaxy? Is a Big Mac more valuable than a Whopper? Only to the person who views them. A galaxy is more valuable to me, an iPhone is more valuable to you, or maybe vice versa. The Incas ascribed little value to gold at all. It was just a pretty metal for decoration and adornment, certainly not worth $40,000 a kilo. So a brand has no value, and its product has no value unless it has value for someone, a third party. The marketer's task, then, is to bestow value on a brand, value which may be perceived by another person. And that's what we all do, every one of us. From the moment we are given a name, we start to market brand me, we work tirelessly and intuitively to build a perception of value around brand me, the value of brand me to other people, and the value of brand me to ourselves. And we do it pretty well, or we wouldn't be here. Join me again and we'll wrap this up in the final part of this short series of classes introducing the topic of marketing brand me.